Hi everyone! In honor of the Supreme Court's recent ruling in favor of gay marriage legalization and stop moving <laughs> and National Pride Month, wow! I have decided to make this video. Um, I'm going to talk a lot about some things that you may need to Google because there's a lot of like really big terms I will use. And some of you know some of what I'm going to say, but I don't think I've said all of it to any one person at any one time. So, that's why I'm making this video, because hopefully it will clear up confusion and educate people in some ways. And also, I've just really wanted to make this video for a long time. So, armed with my sparkling wit and my naturally flavored fruit snacks, I love fruit snacks. They're so good. Let us begin. So, this is sort of my coming out video. I'm going to try to make it short and sweet because I've got a lot to say, but I know a lot of you don't have a lot of time. So, to start with, there's a lot of terms I'm going to introduce to you. Some of them you've probably already heard, if not all of them. Um, but the first one is asexual. I've known for a long time that I am asexual ever since I was like, I don't know, 16 maybe? And I was like, dude, I'm just like not feeling it when all my friends would look at pictures of Chris Hemsworth or like, <laughs> I don't even know, like I can't think of any hot guys off the top of my head and I was just like, like I don't feel anything so then I researched it and I was like whoa this is an actual thing like there's an asexual spectrum and like you can be gray sexual and there's like all this stuff you really have to google it it's kind of fascinating um and I was like dang this is kind of huge and I was like I think this is what I am that took a lot for me to be okay with that and be like I'm not excited by the idea of sex, which means I probably won't really want to have children at any point in life, and like, it's just living in today's culture, it's a little bit hard to accept that and be like, okay, I'm not ever going to want to get into a normal relationship with a cis hetero man and have sex with him and bear eight babies to his name. Once I was okay with that, though, I was so much happier. So here we are. You can, um, well, you should probably know that a short nickname for asexuals is ace. And I will be using that term a lot. In fact, I'll probably be getting an ace tattoo at some point. So that'll be exciting. The second term I want to present to you guys today is panromantic. Panromantic is really, really cool. Not like over any other kind of romantic, but still. I don't experience sexual attraction, but I do experience romantic attraction. Panromantic means that I experience romantic attraction to anybody regardless of sex or gender orientation. I think that's literally like the coolest shit, but I mean, that's me. <laughs> the third term I want to present to you guys today is gender fluid. Gender fluid is really cool too because it means basically that you don't fall into the normal standards for male or female. So I was born female sex. Um, I was born named Deborah, but as I've grown older I've realized that I don't really feel like a male or a female. Like that's not a huge part of my life and I was like you know, maybe I'm agender, maybe I'm gender fluid, I'm still playing with the idea. Right now, most of the time I'm just like, I'm transgender, because a lot of people, like, that's easier to explain than gender fluid or agender. But, yeah, it's a complicated concept, but I'm okay with being complicated. Life is complicated, and that's fine. Go smell a rose. That smell is complicated. I'm not sure where this is going. Anyway, time for more fruit snacks. Also, it's a really pretty day outside right now. The final term I want to share with you guys is androgynous. Androgynous is awesome. It's like sharing aspects of male and female, like andro and then gyne. I don't know if I said that right. 
but the first part is male and the second part is female and then you have androgynous and it's like the coolest word I don't know I wish my computer would stop shaking um but yeah so that's the term you should know because it's going to become a lot normal like in fashion to see androgynous styles and there's a lot of androgynous models that are becoming more mainstream and more well known Ruby Rose, a lot of you have probably heard of her. She's awesome. She's on Orange is the New Black. I think her character's name is Stella, but I haven't gotten to season three yet. Anyway, if you don't know about Ruby Rose yet, I'm not going to shame you, but I think you should probably Google her because she's awesome. <sighs> Allow me to fangirl here for a moment. That's my fruit snack. She's so awesome. And I also fangirl over Erica Linder, who is another person you should Google. Anyway, all these people are awesome. They're both male and female androgynous models. And then there are some gender fluid androgynous models like Ruby Rose, who says that she feels for her that gender fluid is kind of like having the best of both worlds. I don't know how much I agree with that, but that's how it works for her. So cool. Anyway. I hope this video helped educate some of you. I hope you learned some cool new terms, and if you already knew them, awesome! Way to go! Anyway, for a quick breakdown, asexual, I don't experience sexual attraction to anybody. Gray sexual, which is like the spectrum of asexuality, I'm not going to explain it here, you should google it. Panromantic, I experience romantic attraction to people regardless of sex or gender. Gender fluid, which is neither male or female, you just kind of, it's like a whole spectrum and you just kind of float like your own bubble person. And androgynous, which is awesome, and you should Google more about it. Anyway, peace out, y'all. Love you.